I used to say how great friends we were, inseparable, tethered by the same umbilical cord. Remember how we used to run up and down Memento Market, picking up falling chinchin from the ground? We thought our life in Africa was infinite. Then Pa got a new job overseas. We were leaving for America in two months. I assumed, assumed you'd be coming with, with us you. because I couldn't picture myself running through new streets without you. Remember how I used to beat you in our favorite board game, Voodoo? By now, my cousin, you are firmly an American eagle. Five-year-old me dreamed that we would both spread wings, soar unfettered. But for African birds, I'm finding the sky isn't limitless. Just another roof that leaks over our heads as we sleep. We draw water from the same roots. But my half of the family tree wilts like Chamberlain. Your half is in full bloom. Or at least that's what mom tells me. You promised before you boarded that we would stay close. Dear Roma, Pa told me to write you a letter to tell you about our new life in America. Our comfortable home, the new bike I got for my birthday. I remember how long I spent writing that letter, how hard I fought to conjure up feelings of longing on you simply weren't there. So I started small with the memories I still had. Do you still buy chinchin from Amanda Market? Dear cousin, I broke the seal of your letter with hands surgeon delicate. You tell me about school, about making good grades, about the new Transformers movie that I never have enough pocket change to see. I want to ask why you left, why you needed to call another land home. Roma, you were my first friend, but now my only memories of you are handing down CP of vendettes from my parents. My, my memories of you are drowning deep, like the Atlantic that keeps distance between us. You're becoming a ghost. Cousin, did you know that our grandma would become ill? That that house would crumble into itself? Electricity cut for months, running water surely next. I promised you a CD player that never came. I fear you no longer care, that you no longer have to care. I don't know how to ask if you are still the brother I once knew. You keep asking me questions about my life, but I'm never eager to respond, always avoiding. I can't tell you that I'm at Princeton, that I'm happy here, how everything just seems to be falling in place because I know that you are falling, Roma, too fast for me to pick you up. Am I even supposed to be picking you Why up? Why won't you pick me Ma up? Ma told me how bad things have gotten, how every time she picks up the phone, her voice trembles upon hearing who's died next. It's almost as if she expects it. Grandma passed away last month, taking what was left of my school piece to her casket. My brother Kwame helped himself to the rest of her belongings, the furniture, the checks Uncle mailed to help. Tears well as I pen these words to you, but I make sure they fall off paper. African birds are built rugged, enduring suffering is our birthright. With these letters, I send this pain in transit, unburden myself of its weight, knowing America has made your shoulders sturdy. Remember when we met again for the first time? The ten years had made your eyes hope stain sunken and hollow as if they were weighed down by the struggles you had been through. Your shoes had a brand I couldn't recognize. Your arms and legs had flesh to spare. My shirt was ragged, my slippers were missing their soles. You your pain conveniently. Ma told me that we were paying for your school fees that we even considered adopting you. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. How you don't let the pain sleep on you. It makes my problems seem so insignificant. Tell me, I'm sorry for you. You have been in my prayers. I know that this is your way of making distance between me and your guilt, of washing your wings clean and taking flight. Your way of forgiving yourself, for leaving your cousin grounded. We tried building bridges over lost memories, but, but our youth was no longer buoyed on the Atlantic. I pitied you. You gave me all of your pocket change, even though I didn't ask. You mistake me for help. You're taken. It's more than enough to buy you that seed player, I promise. We, we tried, tried building bridges, bridges over the years we missed out on. These bridges cannot stand. Our youth is drowning deep in transit between two worlds, mine in red, white, and blue yours in more obscure shades. We are drowning, Vermont. But only one of us has been taught how to fly.